I'm Dr. Vishal Sangle from Brainberg. I'm a clinical psychologist. I'm sure you must have given this assessment on TreatFit.com, the mental well-being assessment. And in a broader sense, this is very much essential in the era that you are living in and the crisis that you are going through. And to understand in a deeper context what well-being is, let us ponder upon the definition that World Health Organization has given to describe mental well-being or well-being in general. Well-being has got three dimensions. One, physical, second, mental and third, social. It's not only absence of disease or mere infirmity, that is to say mental and physical weakness. It is also to do with your overall state of well-being, of happiness. Let me tell you some interesting facts, friends. We as a nation have been falling in the trap of mental scarcity. We are in a state of always complaining and getting into uh, you know, the, uh, the mental scarcity syndrome. Why do we need to have mental well-being or well-being in general? The reason is we must be able to thrive in the ever-changing, competitive and certain very, very volatile environment. The world order is changing. Let us understand in, in deeper context what is mental well-being and these four parameters that you measured in this assessment. The first parameter is positive effectivity. The second parameter is resilience. The third parameter is was, uh, the uh, emotional stability and the fourth parameter is adaptability. All these parameters point towards your mental well-being. Importantly, each of these parameters is measured on a 10-point scale. 0 being the low, 10 being the high. You must have seen in your report, there are two sections. One section talks about your strengths, the other section talks about your training needs or maybe the areas that you need training into. All the aspects that are given, all the parameters that are given in strengths fall into average or a high average category or high category that you can roughly say. For example, if resilience is taken into consideration, resilience is your ability to rise after the crisis. Even if you have fallen, what is the capacity or the capability or ability of yours to rise again? In simple terms, if you show this vigor, if you show this strength to rise again after the crisis, it is one of the most important ability to stay mentally fit or mentally healthy. If you've got this score high, congratulations. If you find your score is low in this, start preparing. Start finding yourself some very important aspects that you need to ponder upon, like, like of building your confidence, like building, building your trust and belief into things that are more positive and hopeful in nature. The second aspect linked to this is positive activity. Here we see in the most part of the day or most part of the week or most part of the month, are you able to stay happy? Are you stable, able to look with the outlook of positivity? If that is so, your positivity, your mental positivity or positive effectivity is high. The third aspect that is adaptability. Adaptability talks about the aspect of how you are able to acclimatize to different environments, changing environments, changing situations. If you are able to do so, again you have got a strong mental well-being. And the fourth aspect is emotional stability, which is very vital in terms of your moods, in terms of your emotions that channelize entire of your behavior. If you show a strong emotional stability, you'll also see that your well -being, experience of well-being grows. Now, if you see all these factors combined together, a complete mental well-being picture is presented in front of you. If you have the strengths to find your positivity, your emotional stability exhibiting through your behavior, you may well be able to you know, sail through this challenging environment. I would encourage you to stay positive, stay happy and stay fit. If you do so, you will also find that your people around you, you will be able to emit positivity towards them. You will find the society in general, you will find your family in particular, will be able to see that you are resilient and positive nature. 
I would congratulate you again for taking this assessment and stay tuned for, for further videos to get yourself acquainted with these four factors of mental well-being. Thank you. Thank you.